Hello to the second tutorial on SolidWorks for beginners. In this tutorial I'm going to make the first sketch. As we see we have here the SolidWorks interface and here we have the tree. We have three different planes. So we can imagine the front plane, the top plane and the right plane. So according to the part you are drawing you can choose the best plane to present it so I'm going in this case choose the top plane and simply press on it and here we have the sketch icon so we press on the sketch so now we will be able to draw a sketch on the top plane and here we have the sketch tools interface we have the exit sketch when we finish drawing we have the dimensions to add dimensions to the sketch and here we have the tools the line and we have line and center line the center line is like a helping line for construction and guiding and here we have the rectangle different types of rectangles and we have the circle and many ways to draw the circle and we have the asp line we have the arc we have polygon we have the fillet and chamfer we have the ellipse and text point trim mirror pattern we are going to use all of these in all in these tutorials so for now I am going to draw a rectangle we can choose for example here this point is the origin point or it is like 0 x 0y 0, 0 z I'm going to choose it and then draw a rectangle the green samples here it shows the type of relation here for example this line means that this line is a vertical and this one is a horizontal and so on also we have here the relations which we are able to add to to the sketch so for example I will choose the line here and draw one line just randomly and here I can choose this line then control second line and I can add relation for example I want it to be parallel so now it turns into parallel lines we can see the sample here and if I want them to be vertical I can choose or add the vertical relation so now I have these two lines verticals so I press OK so now here in this rectangle we can see we have lines and blue lines black lines mean that the position or the dimension of this line are defined and the blue ones they are not defined so let's add some dimensions to define the lines so I will add smaller dimension I have to add 100 millimeters and here I can add 70 millimeter and here this is okay this is the cancel and here we have to make a view and here we can just 
press OK. And now we have our rectangle all in black. So that means it is defined. And we can do the same here. Add some dimension. Press on the line and then and we have to define the place of the rectangle to the origin in order to get defined so I'm going to press this point and this point I will add any dimension press ok so now we have the whole sketch defined now I can draw a circle so now I am rotating the, the sketch by clicking on the wheel of the mouse and then move the sketch in order to get the normal view we just press on space and here we can click on normal too so it returns to the normal top view so add some dimension to the circle and define its position to the origin smart dimension okay and can add another relation be vertical okay now I have the circle fully defined I can try to draw another shape here press escape and now I have another way to define the sketch we have here display and delete relation we have under it a fully defined sketch so when I press on it so it's going to calculate so after finishing a drawing we can exit from the sketch mode by clicking on this icon So now we have our catch showed here and here this is sketch one which represent the drawing we made. So if we want to edit the sketch again we just press on sketch and edit sketch normal to and add some dimension here So in here we can see we got this over defined it means that the sketch we defined it, it many times so there is no need to define it more so we just press ctrl z and try to put another relation so now we have our sketch fully defined and exit again and save
So now I can close this tutorial about making the first sketch. In next tutorial I am going to start using the 3D features here to make the first 3D drawing. So see you in the next.